Well, hi everyone. So this is the first vlog entry of 2019, and uh, we can't remember if we've shown you the new driveway, which we know was done over Christmas. So here it is with the the brick wall uh, as well, separating the boundaries. So obviously there's the existing driveway there still, uh, but we feel they've done a really good job here. So coming in, we've had the carpenter in this week, um, putting in architraves and skirting and stuff like that. A lot of the plaster has dried, but some of it's still wet, which I'll show you. So let's go logically around the house. So this is a bit of a, a dumping ground. We've got all the doors here. Um, this room has now been sort of drying for a little while and it is dry. Uh, architraves have gone on, obviously the skirt still needs to go on in here. But if you come over here, so this is like the off suite dedicated bathroom for that. You can see the, the shower trays and the tiles are starting to go in and uh, yeah, obviously architraves in here. So coming through to the kitchen, uh, this is a lot clearer now. So they've started doing the skirting around here. You've obviously got, I think we had the windows. I'm not, I can't, sorry, I can't remember what we showed you. We've got all the new windows and that sort of stuff in. Uh, architraves, skirting, all gone in here. Uh, again, it's like, so yeah, architraves and skirting anywhere really. Uh, tiling hasn't started in here, but you can see the size of the shower. Is this the walk-in shower without the door? Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be amazing. Absolutely, how big is that? 1400 by 800. Pretty big. That's our biggest shower we've ever put in, right? Yep. Nice. Um, point three, I think, are we going to go with grey? Yeah, the kitchen, the kitchen is dove grey and white unit. It's going to look good. White down lights and stuff like that. I think this kitchen is going to look really, really good. So I think we've explained this anyway, but just quickly, this door spanned the whole length. We've made it shorter so we can put a TV on this wall. I think the couch will come here kitchen unit and all that sort of stuff there. Uh, you've got some, the floor plan, haven't you? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put in, you have, I'm gonna put the kitchen design in now. So yeah, have a look at that. Uh, let's take you upstairs while you're looking at that as well. Right, don't know why we'd go around this way. We've now got into a bit of a routine of going around that way. Um, so I'll carry on that uh, route. Architrave this, this pass is still not drying, so that's taken quite a while to dry. Um, obviously the ceiling was done in here, stuff like that, architrave, you can see plug sockets and that stuff going. And then the ensuite tiles, they're looking good. So it's quite, I thought it was gonna be quite a small ensuite, but actually it's turned out quite big. Uh, I think it will look a bit smaller when the when the glass yeah. enclosure goes up, but it's still quite spacious. Yeah. We've got this bit of a square room, this is our pain in the bum room. Um, we've got a bit of a lip down there as well, so I'm not sure what we're doing with that, at least we might know a bit more. But the other suites are looking really good, so you've got a shower and the tiles going in, and the new windows, uh, there used to be one long window in there, so they have separated that now, which looks really good. That lip is because that's where the radiator has to go. So I don't know if there's the pipe yeah, work. Pipe, yeah, yeah, so there's the pipe work, sorry. There's the soil stacks there. Um, because when my designs, the radiator was going to be here behind the door. But as you can see, the door return isn't very thick. So normally you'd be able to fit a radiator behind a door, but because of this being super, super thin, um, you wouldn't be able to open the door with the radiator behind, which is why we've had to rejig the room around and it goes there now. But the boxing also is because the soil stacks are here. So this is one on suite, we've got another on suite on the other side and you've got the soil stack. So this needs to run, obviously downwards into the main soil stack there. So we're feeding it over that way, so. Yeah, and that, and that was also the case that that has to run upstairs because originally it was supposed to be downstairs. Um, but because downstairs there's like an odd joist which means that you can't actually cut through that so it couldn't run downstairs, it has to run through this room so that's the other reason, like Ollie said, that why there's the boxing there. Yeah. Right, yeah, so pull it through. Uh, the plaster's not drying over here, so the ceiling's taking ages to dry. And this is the other one sweet, and the ceiling over there is taking ages to dry. Pardon, sorry. <laughs> but the room is coming along. Yeah, I mean, the plaster is taking a really long time considering it was done before Christmas. And we're now, what's the date today? 13th of, 13th of January today. Yeah, so, put new on there, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think much has changed really here, either. It's just art and tray, the skirting has gone in, the tiles have gone in here. We've got a new window, actually, on new windows everywhere. Uh, look, look. 
It's always yeah. nice to have a window in a bathroom if you can manage it. Wow. So yeah. You can see it's still wet up there. It's still really wet. So that's it. That is our update for this week and the first update of 2019. Uh, as ever, we're probably going to come around every Saturday or Sunday now uh, until this project's finished. But this is kind of the home straight now. It's not really an awful lot left to do. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week.